Bitcoin managed to get a little bit of a breakout to the upside as we know and it unfortunately has lost a lot of that rally now already and the thing that I don't like about this is that if Bitcoin is now entering what is basically just a sideways trading range well that means we're potentially consolidating at pretty much you know market lows right here pretty much cycle market cycle lows right here um and, and obviously the longer we consolidate around areas like this the more you get a little bit of a concern that you know perhaps this is the calm before the next little bit of a storm right here <clears throat> pardon me right here now i'm not too worried about that because if we look at things like the fear and greed index even when we did manage to get that move up um, I mean, we barely saw, uh, <laughs> you know, an increase in the fear and greed index. We only went up to 17. That's still extreme fear territory. We're now right back down to 10. People are still very, very negative with the market. And so one of the main things that I'm looking for and one of the things that I was talking about in the previous video, shout out to those of you who are subscribed because you're going to know all about it, is that I'm looking to potentially see if the market can capture a little bit of support off these lines that were offering resistance in the past in order to potentially then uh you know rally onto the upside and there's a few different ways we might be able to get this right let me just bring this onto uh, a chart where i don't have any drawings now so that i can show this to you with a little bit more clarity let's zoom in onto the four hour time frame and all i want to do is again i just want to draw this resistance line that was holding the market down a little bit there's obviously many different ways to draw this it doesn't really matter how you draw it but i'm going to do it like this um, and, and you can see right here, I mean, already, ladies and gents, you know, this same line that was offering resistance to Bitcoin uh, towards the end of May, around the end of May, beginning, uh, I'm sorry, middle of May, has pretty clearly flipped into support already. But it's not just that, you know, I want to take a look at these Ichimoku clouds right here. Look at this on the four hour time frame. We are now uh, very much out of the resistance right here, potentially entering a four hour support cloud. Let's see what's going on with the one hour time frame yet. We've unfortunately failed support on the one hour that is a bit of a shame uh momentum is going to be interesting actually we haven't been able to establish a spread so it's not looking too great there um you know we really we don't have a lot going for the market right now in terms of being bullish but we do at least have what is in my opinion one of the most important signs that we could possibly be showing which is seeing that old areas of resistance are flipping into new areas of support and as far as potential bullish signs go this is pretty much as good as it gets so that's also good and then of course yeah the fact that the fear and greed index is still uh you know in our favor if we're feeling a little bit more bullish on the market and that is obviously phenomenal um now again the thing is is that if we do end up dipping down a little bit and especially if we end up kind of finding support at 28 and so on around there that's where i'm going to start thinking that actually we're just in a much larger sideways pattern which is going to be absolutely horrible um you know just just because it's going to be annoying really as a trader i mean there's just not much you can do in a range like this now having said that i was actually able to pull off a pretty impressive trade on ethereum uh you know i have to say uh entered a bit of a short position and it's still running right now i think it's uh it's it hasn't quite hit my 50 percent profit target but it's close i've already secured quite a few profits on this trade so i'm very very happy with it uh and vips know all about it my stop loss is at break even i can't even lose money on this trade anymore already secured some gains so this market's still very much you know able to make some money at the moment but of course you just have to be able to position yourself in the right ways you know i mean this is not something that's coming easy right now in these markets if you guys want to jump inside oh, i don't have it on screen right now but if you guys want to jump inside vip and see what it's all about then check it out with the first link in the description down below and while you're there i want to give you guys uh i want to give bybit another shout out right here of course this is the only exchange pretty much that i've been using in these markets uh and, and so if you want to be able to trade on the very same platform that i'm using check it out with the link in the description down below when you sign up using my link you're going to be getting some extra cash deposited into your account for free when you make your first deposit so go ahead and check that out but yeah like i said um you know so, some coins are faring better than others i mean you know to be honest especially when these things are dropping bitcoin is generally going to be better off than the rest of the market you can see that here bitcoin down by minus two and a half percent ethereum down by nearly four percent ethereum's basically at its final support level before a very very big drop right bitcoin yeah more or less the same thing but it's not right at the bottom of that range yet uh and so you can see how bitcoin is able to hold up a little bit better uh across the board generally alts just getting hit a little bit more than bitcoin at least a little bit more 
than Bitcoin, I should say. Uh, you know, definitely showing us that this market is still in quite fearful territory. But again, all of these things, they just, in my opinion, they serve to cleanse the market out of uh, things that the market doesn't need, things that the market shouldn't have going on, uh, you know, with, with, with what we're seeing. Let's take a quick peek at the dominance as well, just to see where the cash is actually flowing in these markets. Uh, and look at that Bitcoin dominance shooting up. This is actually quite a big climb now. It's the first really significant move I think we've seen in a while here. If we take a look at uh, this is the uh, the 9th of May, uh, basically just nearly a month ago, Bitcoin dominance was at 41.27%. Uh, and then, yeah, pretty much as of, uh, well, a few days ago, one or two days ago, Bitcoin dominance now up to 46. So that's a big, big increase. Now, obviously, you know, the market cap is continuing to bleed at this time. So what this really means is that capital is flowing out from altcoins into Bitcoin and then into, you know, US dollars, pounds, Japanese, you know, yen or whatever. Like it, it's just going back into fiat currency. But, um, you know, we are seeing that cleansing happening in the altcoin market and again that to me is making me you know a little bit optimistic about where this thing could be headed just in terms of a potential reaction rally uh but we're gonna have to see how these support areas form because the thing is ladies and gents if bitcoin isn't able to form you know some sort of a meaningful rally at least relatively soon uh it's it's gonna it's just gonna fall into that sideways range again and the thing is, is that when you manage to get these kind of moves where you break out from, I mean, in this, I know this might not look like a lot. It doesn't actually look like a lot, but this was effectively 19 days of nothing. Um, you know, when we have this kind of trading range and then we manage to break out of it, we have a time window where we can pull off quite impressive things. But the time windows are not generally this long. I mean, it's already been four days. I think we should have pulled something a little bit more impressive out of the hat by now. And the fact that we haven't is unfortunately somewhat concerning and it is just something that i need to highlight to you guys because if we're not able to pull something off now we are going to be losing these windows of opportunity and one great example of this is this is, is is the ichimoku cloud you know if i replay the chart back to just over here <clears throat> and we take a look at how the ichimoku cloud was forming let's let me actually go a little bit further back over here um you can see that the ichimoku cloud was actually uh, you know, fairly, I mean, compared to where it is now, fairly large, right? If we measure it from the bottom to the top of this range, this is a, you know, nearly 5% support range. But of course, as the market kind of levels out and doesn't, you know, do anything that's particularly interesting, you can see that now, uh, as uh, at the furthest point that the Ichimoku cloud stretches, it only gives us support in a 1% range. I mean, this is nothing. This is uh, absolutely meaningless, in my opinion. Even a 5% range just isn't really enough, in my opinion in order for it to be like, you know, I, I'd consider this to be a much more realistic Ichimoku cloud. This is, you know, 10, 11 percent range. That that's that's significant. That is something to pay attention to. But the problem is, is as we don't seize these opportunities, we stop printing bullish things on these charts. Right. Again, a, a great example is what happened with the EMA ribbon here, where at first we were trending up. So we started to get a little bit of a spread on the EMA ribbon, but we started to lose all of those gains. And so very quickly we fall right back into neutral or potentially bearish territory so um you know the clock is ticking ladies and gents the clock has ticked by quite a bit and we've just not been able to take advantage of it you know and i don't want to be a pessimist i don't want to say that things are just going to constantly be going badly but uh you know i gotta admit it ladies and gents i mean um you know that there is a limited time window for these things and i've shown you why with the ichimoku cloud with these ema ribbons how you know if you don't manage to seize these opportunities relatively quickly you're just going to slip back into the default market bias and obviously the default market bias for a while now has been bearish uh you know that can spell some level of disaster so that's just something that i want you guys to be keeping an eye on in this market at the moment uh once again if you do want to be able to trade these things check it out uh with bybit i don't know why the page is not loading up right now it's just a wi-fi problem on my end but check it out with the link in the description down below like i said when you make your first deposit on the platform you're going to be getting some extra cash deposited for free into your account and of course if you want to jump inside a vip be able to watch me trading obviously i'm in a little bit of a profit on my bitcoin position that i uh increased uh just uh, basically at this swing low right here that was absolutely beautiful and in quite a nice profit on my ethereum position as well uh if you want to be able to see how all that's been going down in real time i mean this is not the last two trades i'm going to be making i'm going to be constantly ripping trades where i feel it's safe 
uh, and, and sensible to do so. Well, all of that information goes straight into VIP. And so if you want to be able to take advantage of it, again, it's the first link in the description down below and you'll find the steps to join VIP down there as well. Really hope you have enjoyed this very, very quick video. If you have, do me a favor and smash up the likes, subscribe, tick the bell, do all that good stuff. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.